I'm calling BS again. Dave Ramsey is wrong on several points about RVs and RV living. Dave Ramsey, you're out of line. Dave says RVs are about the worst possible investment you can make. They are a terrible investment. RVs will not increase in value. Dave calls RVs depreciation on four wheels. Dave discourages couples from taking their kids out on the road full-time RVing. I'm calling BS on Dave Ramsey's RV living advice. I'm Tom and this is enjoythejourney.life. Our channel is all about RV living and traveling full time. If you are brand new to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down there and ring that little bell. That way you'll get notified when we release a brand new video. So hear me out on this. I'm really passionate about this subject, so I might talk a little faster. I might rant a little bit, but I really want you guys to get the information on this. Cherie and I were watching YouTube like we occasionally do, and we ran across a video by Dave Ramsey, and I was shocked. And actually, we found about six videos from him about whether people should buy an RV or not. And we were just completely shocked about his advice and how horrible it was. And there's a lot of bad advice on YouTube, but Dave Ramsey has over a million subscribers, so he really has uh, the potential to have a big impact, and we think in a negative way. Now Dave admits in his videos that he doesn't recommend this lifestyle because he can't see himself doing this and his wife wouldn't stand for it. But that's his personal opinion and he's sharing that with tens of thousands of other people like that is what they should be doing. Out of all the videos we found, we only found one that he actually gave the green light for the couple to buy an RV and they were millionaires and debt free and even then it was going to be a used one and they were going to pay cash. Dave says RVs are about the worst possible investment you can make and if you look at it only from a financial standpoint, Dave is right. They are a terrible investment. RVs will not increase in value. Dave calls RVs depreciation on four wheels. But isn't that like your car? I mean, you do buy cars for a specific purpose and they do go down in value, but just because they're maybe a bad investment on paper doesn't mean you don't buy a car. Your dreams, this view, this lifestyle is not a depreciating asset. Memories of living the life you want to live are an appreciating asset. Setting an example for your kids or people in your sphere of influence how do you want to be remembered? Do you want to be remembered by living the life that other people thought you should or by the one that you create, the one that you choose to live? How do you measure the return on this incredible view, the warm water, the sandy beach, and warm temperatures year round? Seeing incredible scenery, incredible beauty all around the country or all around the world. What kind of memories are you going to have by living in a place you don't want to live? Let's say it's a big city in a state that is really cold and doesn't have the climate you want, working long hours paying for a big mortgage for a place that you're not even at, saving the millions of dollars that people say that you need to have for retirement. There are enough dream stealers out there telling you not to do something or live your life a certain way. And Dave Ramsey doesn't need to be another one. He only looks at the numbers and your life is so much more than just the numbers. Shuri and I are in the market for a different RV right now and we are likely going to go into more debt for that RV. Why? Because we don't want a Breaking Bad RV. 
there's nothing wrong with buying an older or used RV if that's something that you want to do. We're just not into fixing them up. So we're really looking for the best in features that RV manufacturers have to offer. So we're probably looking new, but we may consider used but we're willing to make that RV payment because we have the income to pay for that. We have done several videos on the truth about RV living and debt, and I'm calling BS, and we will link to those down in the description. We have received several comments on those videos that being in debt was a reason to go full-time living in an RV because it's so much more cost effective to live in a smaller space. You downsize so much, sell a lot of your stuff and have a much smaller footprint. You can live your RV dreams for a lot less than you think. I went from being hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt to being a lot less than $100,000 in debt by living in my RV full time. I know many RVers have followed Dave's advice over the years, including Cherie a few years ago getting debt free. And that's awesome. Uh, certainly less uh, debt is optimal. But I think the key difference is not waiting uh, to be debt free in order to buy an RV or having to only pay cash or waiting until retirement to live the lifestyle that you've always dreamed of. I am totally for reducing and paying down debt, but not at the expense of living your dreams. My truck is almost paid off right now, and I'm happy about that. And if the next RV that we get is a towable RV, then we will be fine. We won't have to buy a new vehicle. We also paid cash for the Toyota Prius, and we don't mind driving older vehicles. But when it comes to our home, we do want some of the nicer features that RV manufacturers manufacturers have to offer so we are looking to buy new and potentially incur some debt for that and the next point is Dave discourages couples from taking their kids out on the road full-time RVing a couple wanted to finance an RV in order to take their kids out on the road with them for a couple of years but the thing is they would need financing for that and Dave shot it down immediately how cool would it be for some kids as they are growing up to experience that out of the norm? They would remember that for the rest of their lives. That would have a huge impact on their lives and maybe change the direction of their lives. But Dave says, oh, that's going to mess up your finances, their college futures. Dave actually recommended to this couple that they travel in a car or SUV and stay in hotels for a couple of years. And he suggested that that would actually be cheaper than living in an RV. I don't think so. In another video, a couple with kids were selling their house and the husband had just got a new job on the road working in construction. He would be gone all week long, so rather than being away from the family, their idea was to get an RV and to keep the family together. But yes, you guessed it, Dave shot that idea down as well because they would need to finance uh, the truck and the RV and that he recommended Dave just commute and not see his family during the week. And what's cool is a lot of full-time RV families actually commented on that video and said, look, Dave, you're wrong on this point. Even when the construction company would pay a per diem while the husband was out on the road, Dave still said no. Oh, and the whole family had already talked about this and they wanted to go out on the road with their dad as well, including the kids. With the internet and the homeschooling options right now, it's easier than ever to educate your kids while traveling full time on the road. And would you rather read about history in the book or actually experience history in person. Think about the educational opportunities while your kids are young, if you have younger kids right now. Cherie and I, had we known about this being available, would have been very interested in this for our kids when they were younger. We would have wanted our kids to experience this lifestyle. Now, listen please, hear me on this. I am not encouraging debt. 
Some people think debt and they immediately think, ooh, all debt is bad. But I am encouraging you to live the life that you've always dreamed of. If you can do it with little or zero debt and you're fine with that, then do it that way. Just because you've listened to an expert like Dave Ramsey or some other financial guru that is not into this lifestyle doesn't mean that they have the right advice for you in choosing this lifestyle or not. They are not living your life and they won't suffer the consequences for not not living your dream only you can take responsibility for making that decision so don't leave it up to them don't let somebody else make your big decisions for you you choose that you choose the life that you want to live I believe living your dream lifestyle should be the priority and getting out of debt should be secondary paying on a loan for an RV is just like any other expense like paying for rent or your cellular phone, groceries, what have you. You just simply have to have enough income coming in to cover that. And also since RVs generally need a lot of repairs, you need to have some savings or an emergency fund for that. A two to $500 a month payment on an RV could buy any one of thousands of different RVs out there, new or used. And when you go to sell or trade in that RV, you might end up owing a little bit more, but think about the alternative. Or you could spend the thousands of dollars a month on rent or a mortgage and have nothing to show for it, or be upside down if your real estate value goes down on your home when you go around to sell it. Could you make a mistake when buying or financing an RV? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean it was the wrong decision to make. You will learn from your mistakes and believe me, we've made plenty of them and you can watch some of our videos. We'll put links in the description about some of our RV challenges and mistakes. I will link to some of Dave's videos about purchasing an RV in the description below so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Has Dave Ramsey's advice stopped you from buying an RV, changing careers, moving to a different location? We want to know in the comments. Let us know. Want to know about this lifestyle? Then click up here to watch more of our videos and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends that need to hear this message. If you wait too long, the only RV experience you will have will be in a hearse. I down in your house, and I think I just spit you on just spit. you. There's like a shower of spit. We're roasting some Dave Ramsey for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> I think I beat that debt horse long enough here. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Noisy birds. Your drink. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, I'm trying to speak here. <laughs> I want to get this next one right. Hush up over there. <laughs>
and the wind's just gonna keep whipping and blowing. And <laughs> I'm the king of the world. <laughs> it's a typhoon. <laughs> My hair for me. <laughs> What's your porpoise? Can you turn me on? <laughs> you like being turned on? <laughs> he only looks at the numbers. Plane. And your life is more than about planes and trains and automobiles. And RVs. And RVs, right. <laughs> Plane. And RVs. Sure. Son. <laughs> You've got like this big shadow right here. Oh really? Yeah. Okay, you turned on. <laughs> just like that, huh? You think you can just push buttons and turn me on? <laughs> We're good here. How do I look? Amazing. Do I? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And on those videos, we re full time is. <laughs> we received several comments on those videos that selling your house and. No, it's, that's not what I mean. Ugh. We received several com. Are you ready? We received several comments on those vidies. Vidies. <laughs> when you come around to selling it, when you sell that fucking piece of real estate. <laughs>